In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can download Twitter videos right to your gallery from the Twitter app on iPhone. You've probably heard about the iOS shortcut, which is supposed to do it for you, but there are multiple ways how you can use it and multiple shortcuts that do the same thing and not all of them work. The most popular website is the shortcuts gallery, of course, and here you can see the Twitter downloader, the video download for Twitter shortcut, and this one is actually used or many people try to use it, but it does not work anymore. In Instead, what you have to do is to click on the link, which is down below in the description of this video. The link will, in fact, get you to this website. This is the official one from the developers that created the shortcut. Shout out to them because the service works well. So here is how you can actually go ahead and use it. At first, you have to make sure that the iOS shortcuts app is installed on the iPhone that you are using. So make sure you have that one installed. If you are sure about that, just come to this website and just install the shortcut like that. Hit get shortcut, of course, and just wait for the instruction. I mean, scroll all the way to the bottom and add the untrusted shortcut. If this isn't working, what you also have to make sure is that in the settings, you also have everything enabled just like it should be. That means that here in the shortcuts of the iOS in the settings, you have to make sure that the allow untrusted shortcut is green and that it is enabled. If it's not even possible to enable it, you have to run at least one shortcut in the iOS shortcuts app, no matter what it does, and then this option will be available. So this is how you can actually use it. Now you are pretty much done. The way you download Twitter videos is you simply open up the Twitter app and open up random video. For example, this one right here. You don't really hold down to it and access the shortcut this way because this isn't going to work. If you perform it this way, it's just not going to work and it's not going to allow you to do it. So again, just click on this share icon, click on share again and hit this shortcut, which we just added. And if this thing pops up, it means that some sort of permission hasn't been granted or whatever. Just tap on it. It's going to redirect you to this and go to shortcut details and make sure to simply allow this to work. Make sure you allow the access to the internet and come back, hit the done and come back. So what you have to do now is click on this, try it out again, scroll to this shortcut and it should actually work now. So now you can choose and pick the quality of the video that is supposed to be saved right to your gallery, to the camera roll. So whatever you decided to be, let's click on high and make sure to click on OK. And it could, for example, even ask you just like this to have access to the photos, which is apparently necessary. So click on OK. And as you can see, it's done. If you come back and open up the photos, you will be able to notice that it works. And we have the video saved right there from the Twitter. I mean, it wouldn't be that difficult or complicated if Twitter allowed you to actually download the videos right there, but it doesn't work that way. You have to install the shortcut for this to work. But once you do, once you do this, once you do it once, you actually can perform and download the video anytime you want and you don't have to go through this whole process again. So that is the great thing about it. Now I want to say thank you very much for watching and your support. I really do hope that you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you want to stay updated and know what's going on with iPhones in the future and have all of the latest information about it, make sure to subscribe to the Apple Fox channel and see you guys later in the next video. Peace out.